Good morning from the Lower Crooked River National Wildlife Refuge and all that other stuff. It's almost 60 degree day in late January and we're out in Ruby going up the canyon and see what's going on today. It's just too nice to stay in the house and this is just a beautiful canyon and we're testing out the new camera mount down there fishing. He went around the road close. Hmm. Well, they probably parked over here and then just walked down. I guess so. That's a long way to walk down there. That's a mile back. Well, it's some good fishing. It's just the campground's closed. I wonder if we could go in there.
water came up that high, huh? Wow. Sure, they're fixing it. It doesn't surprise me there'd be some flooding, except that's what this dam up here is for, is to control maybe flooding. Maybe it got, maybe it, <laughs> it got damaged or something, or over flooded or flowed or whatever you call it. There's another guy fishing down there. Well, yeah, this spot here is open. Let's go down here. We're okay. down below Chimney Rock. That'll make a good subject to uh, photograph. Yeah. And it goes all the way down to the water, so it's nice. Yeah, I don't know if we can make it in this vehicle. Uh, yeah, it could be scary. Hang on, Nick. Oh, no. I think this is the first time we've been off-road in this. <laughs> it is. There's a puddle. Make it? I think we can make it. Uh -oh. Okay. Phew, we did it. This is a nice campground too. Did you say we keep going around here? Yeah, we'll go keep down going, the water. Yeah, go all the way down. Just keep winding. Hmm. Beautiful camp spot. Yeah. And just head um, straight. Straight. Don't, yeah. Don't go through the mud puddle. Don't go through the mud puddle. And now where? Anywhere, go, huh? Yeah, go right or left. If you go right, it will go way down here and we should be by ourselves at the end, very, very end. Hmm. Maybe. Looks like there's somebody already here. They might be parked only for fishing parking. Yeah, we can always come back to this spot here. This is like, like a nice spot to just park it. This is the end here? No, I think it, I thought it went more. I think this is just a spot. I don't know. Nope, it keeps going. Well, isn't this where you camped, uh, Nick, with your buddies mm -hmm. down here at the very end uh, with your camping family? Yeah. We drove out and... Spied on you. Spied on you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the end of the road. spot number nine and number eight wow just gorgeous isn't it yes beautiful originally our plan was to just get out and get some fresh air but we always have our cameras close by and so we decided to take advantage of the beautiful scenery and the mediocre day and just do some photography a little bit of landscape and a little bit of macro and Originally, my intent was to do a time lapse, but, well, you'll see, it really wasn't worth the effort. Still, when we were done there, I remembered that there was some viewpoints on the flat top rock above our heads, so we quickly consulted Gaia GPS and found a route to the top of the hill, and that's what started this unexpected journey, an unexpected off-road journey, the first one that we've taken in the Bronco. Do we have one on this? What's that? A sticker. No, we don't have an OHB sticker. Okay. Nope. Well, on roadway. OHB's on roadway. Well, we know that. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we're taking a little offshoot road here to a spot that I suspect exists out here somewhere. So we're actually off-road in the Bronco. I figure if that Kia can make it, so can we. <laughs> there ain't no one in the Kia. So we're getting the tires dirty. We're slinging mud. We're doing good. Figure out what gear you need to be in, Ted. Excuse me, there but you don't go. you know how to shift? I do now. Do I need to teach you? Anyway, this should go out over the cliffs there, where we were just down below. I've never think, driven this thing off-road, so I don't know how it's going to act. <laughs> it will be good. It won't be smarty pants back at you. Well, I'm going to put it in four-wheel high, and here's how you do it. You just push this button. Okay, now we're in four high. You know, it takes these whoops really nice. 
Not bad, not bad so far. Anyway, so no, a simple photo no trip danger. turned into an off-road drive. It's all Nick's fault. Nick was bored. We got lockers, so I'm not worried about getting stuck. I don't think we'll get stuck, though. Hey, the picnic table. We could camp out here. Yep, I think we can. I don't think we're restricted from this size of a vehicle. Uh, back in here, this is supposedly side by sides of motorcycles, but I don't think there's any restriction against. No, there wasn't. No. There are certain places that are just strictly motorcycle trails, and we'll try to stay off of those. But and this should be fun. Where's our road? It's supposed to be a road there. It's a cross. Hmm. Oh, here it is. <laughs> you gotta love the whoops. Oh, I thought it was gonna be kind of a more primitive road, but it looks like a lot of people come out this way. This should take us out to the edge of the cliff here. Highway 94. Edge of the canyon. But we're doing fine, Then first gear, don't have to do a lot of shifting, which was one of my concerns about having a stick shift in a four-wheel drive. But first or second, that's your off-road gears. And I haven't got into crawl yet, but we are in four high. I haven't needed the lockers, but who knows. Okay, we come across a nice little rocky patch here, and I'm in four high, but in the crawl gear, you don't have to worry about stalling the engine out, as long as you don't come to a complete stop. And in four low, it's even a higher ratio, like 95 to 1, but we don't need that here. We're still in four high, and we're in the crawl gear. And uh, yeah, I'm just using the accelerator pedal to wander through with this rock garden. See now it's a little better for, probably could take first gear here, but I'll leave it crawl. Yeah, it's given me confidence, that's for sure. I um, wasn't sure. I know about the Gladiator. I know what it can do. But I wasn't sure about what this was going to be like in an off-road situation. And she's doing great. Probably could have aired down, but I don't think we were planning on doing this. And I don't have any way to air back up. So, here we are. Here's some more rocks. Wow. I can't believe Jason comes out here in his van, but I've seen him out here overlooking Kirker River Canyon, so this is the only road out here. So this had to be it. And if he can do it in his van, we can do it in this. got her all muddy today but we're here and it got us here so we have never been up here before and this is the first outing in the Bronco, the off-road outing. So we thought we'd come up to this viewpoint. 
and have a look around. That's the Bowman Dam with Prineville Reservoir behind it and the Crooked River flowing off in front of us. And these two people that are in the frame are ruining my shot. Welcome. But what can I say? <laughs> what we're born to do. It's what you're born to do, yeah. I have to get back up. <laughs> you're gonna need some. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. We're all getting older. Nothing to worry about. Anyway, what a beautiful, beautiful view. I have 12. Lives? No, I have 12 inch feet. They're fine. <laughs> They're very stable. Yeah, uh, that's too close to the edge for me. I mean, look at that. That's a long way down. A long way down, and you would be landing in the rocks. So, whatever. Take your chances. Okay, so we're taking the same road out that we came in on after that beautiful overlook. But instead of being in four high and crawl gear every once in a while, we decided to put it into the mud and ruts mode, which seemed appropriate for this. And um, what you get is the rear locker engaged and locked, and you get your traction controls turned off, and it's in four high range. So that's what mud and ruts gets you. But if you own a Bronco, you already knew that. But this is the first time for us. There's not very many first times for us anymore. <laughs> well, first time in the Bronco.